Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be transplanting some of my winter sown crops that are ready to be planted. So I'm going to take you to the uh, garden and I'm going to show you how it's done. Now this transplanting that I'm doing can be used for any type of crop. So stay tuned right here on Garden Jen's Journey. Okay, so welcome to my container bed area. It's kind of a mess right now because we're in the middle of rebuilding lots of things around the homestead, including our garden areas. We just rebuilt the dog pen there. So everything's a mess right now. <laughs> so I have to kind of work around it because when it comes to planting things, sometimes you can't wait to clean up your garden to get it planted. So that's what I'm working on today. So, um, I just did a winter sowing reveal of some plants that uh, were ready to rock and roll transplant time. And these are some of those crops that I had uh, shown in the video, which I will post above so you can kind of see all the other crops that, that uh, were ready to go. So, one thing that you want to do for uh, transplanting your crops, either if you're winter sowing or if you just bought stuff from the nursery or whatever, one of the things that you want to do first is make sure that, you ha that they are watered. So I went ahead and watered them thoroughly. I saturated them, let them sit and drain. You want the soil moist. That way it helps reduce transplant shock. You also want to do that to the area that you're going to be transplanting them to as well. So I'm going to show you that area. So these are the uh, beds that I'm working with today. These are just uh, 55 gallon food grade drums that my husband had cut in half lengthwise to make a longer bed. And he uh, has supported them with old pallet fencing and some timbers that he just crisscrossed. And it's worked very well for the last couple years. I do have one over there that actually broke, so my husband has to fix that. There's all sorts of weeds in these ones, but I'm settling on working on one area at a time and not worrying about the other area that's a mess. So I have gone ahead and I've watered this completely down. I've also added some Trifecta Plus fertilizer which I get from MI Gardener and I will leave a link below to where you can purchase that and I'll show you kind of what it looks like. So this is the Trifecta Plus fertilizer that I get from MI Gardener. They mix it uh, in-house. In um, this is custom blend that they've created and um, it works very 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 well. I've used it for years and I'm very happy with this product. So I've gone ahead and I've gently mixed it in the soil and um, these are ready to go. As you can see I've already got some done. I was trying to get uh, quite a bit done before we get some rain coming in which will definitely help with these guys preventing transplant shock. But I'm going to use this bed here that I haven't done anything with to show you how easy it is to transplant. So give me a minute to get my camera set up and we'll start transplanting. Okay, so I'm going to transplant my lettuce. I've already got my kale transplanted. I'm not sure if the video picked it up or if it shut off on me. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how I transplant lettuce. Again, the soil is very moistened, so this comes right out of the jug. Like so. And it breaks apart real easy. Oh, we have a grub in here. That's interesting. I'm going to get this grub out of here. And that will go to our chicken. Actually, I think that was an army worm. It happens. It happens. So anyways, break these up and you can see how easy this just falls apart. I mean, that's one of the reasons you want to uh, make sure the soil is moist. And I'm just going to dig a furrow with my hand. You can use a trowel if you, if you like, but this is really loose 
and a damp soil, so very easy for me to do. And I'm just going to take this and gently break it apart to smaller pieces. If you want, you can separate, you know, into the individual seedlings. Like the big seedling right here, you could definitely take the smaller ones off and plant it by itself. Like so. And you can do that. You know, a lot of people plant them individually. Or you could do what's called clump planting which is you take a clump, and this, this has a little bit too many in here, so we'll break it into a smaller clump. But you just take a clump and plant that. And for things like lettuces, carrots, uh, beets, uh, try to think some uh, radishes, things like that that are small as far as a root footprint, uh, you could definitely plant in a clump, and they will, the, uh, tops will grow away from each other just fine like so and it just saves a lot from trying to deal with the individual tiny roots of these guys because you can see that these these roots alone are very very tiny and uh, so trying to tr uh, transplant them especially carrots is very difficult to do but if you just plant them in clumps like this they do just perfectly fine and you're not fighting with those very very tiny roots so I'm just gonna plant some more in here and I will thin them out a little bit as as they grow and another thing that I like to do you just saw me do there and I'll do it again a very fast way to plant is you take a clump set it in your furrow and when it's in there you just gently flatten it out like so, kind of unroll it in there. And then again, you're not fighting with individual roots. You just smooth it out. Okay. So that's how easy it is to transplant your seedlings from your winter sown containers. So I hope that shows you how easy it is to transplant those uh, plants. Again, you can use this method for any of those seedlings that you're growing in your winter sown containers. Make sure you wet them down. Make sure you wet the area that you're going to plant them down. Reduces transplant shock. Um, plant them either late at night or very early in the morning. Uh, with it being uh, cool crops and it's a very overcast day, I went ahead and planted them in the morning. Generally, I don't plant plants in the morning because the sun will come out and they'll just beat the daylight out of the crops and you could really lose them to transplant shock. But because these are cool crops, the weather's cooler and it's a very overcast day, we're actually expecting rain. Um, I felt safe to go ahead and get these transplanted. So yep, get them transplanted, get them watered in and just watch them grow. That simple. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button below and become part of the journey we do lots of gardening lots of chicken stuff and some other cool things right here on the homestead and i'd love to have you along i thank you for watching and being with us today and i hope that wherever you are you are wonderfully blessed so until next time everybody bye bye